I want you guys to remember that anything, anything, everything can be paid off by something else or refinanced. OK. Hey, what's going on, guys? Calvin Russell here, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today, we're going to talk to you guys about the best personal loan options if you don't have the best credit. All right, let's go straight into it. So first off, everyone has their own definition of what they consider to be bad credit. Um, some people consider anything under 750 to be bad credit. Some people you know, think that anything under 700. Some people think it's anything under 600. Regardless of what you think it is, um, there are banks that are around that will give you an opportunity based on uh, certain you know, requirements. And if you meet those requirements for that particular uh, bank, then they will get you you uh, they will loan you the money okay before you start googling and things of that sort because that can take you a lot of different directions I say start with the easier options first I know what you're thinking well Calvin my credit's not the best well if your scores are you know like close to 600 and somewhere between I would say anywhere between 520 to about 650 if your score is anywhere in that range I would strongly suggest starting off with these few with these banks first okay number one is going to be avant.com that's a-v-a-n-t uh upstart.com all right you also have a uh, lendingclub.com okay and then you have discover personal loans uh, com. you have payoff dot com okay and those are the ones you want to start with right off the bat now there's some other ones that are very similar like sofi.com s-o-f-i um, and a few others uh, once you actually start to search a few names will start to pop up and if those names are you no know, big brands and things of that sort and you didn't hear from my list that doesn't mean that they're bad but you essentially want to apply for anyone that's saying that they'll give you a personal loan um, and they will do a soft pull prior to. Remember, the soft pull won't affect you. So it at least makes sense uh, to see if the company will allow you to you know, do a personal loan with them. Some companies are partnered with other companies. Some are owned by bigger companies that may be partnered with smaller companies. And when you're doing the application, it'll say, hey, you didn't get approved for this personal loan, but here's our second suggestion, okay? Now, if you're not able to go through through with that and none of those work out then don't worry you still have some other options the next option is going to be one main financial okay um then after that is going to be spring leaf financial and then after that's going to be freedom plus okay and then i got a list here i almost forgot and then the next one is going to be lendingtree.com and world finance okay uh hopefully i didn't go too fast uh but now some of these lenders may be nearby world finance is a little bit smaller freedom plus uh they're nationwide but there's some states that they don't operate in and you just wanted to see if those options are going to work now again don't try those second options until you try the first options because the first options are soft pulls 100 so that means that if you want to you put in the amount that you want to borrow you fill out the entire application but they don't run your credit and they'll let you know if you do get approved hey this is what the terms will look like and do you agree if you agree then they're going to go with the hard pool and they may ask for some additional documentation as well too versus all of the other banks that i mentioned towards the end um they may actually need everything up front as a many as a matter of fact i don't even know if they do too many applications online simply because they want to make sure that they you know see the person see the documents and things of that sort so and there may be some local options uh nearby you guys as well too usually when you're looking for you know a loan that is not going to, I mean, that's for bad credit, the terms are not going to be the best. That does not mean that you're stuck in that loan forever, okay? I want you guys to remember that. Anything, anything, everything can be paid off by something else or refinanced, okay? Sometimes uh, the companies will say, hey, do you need to borrow more money? Let us refinance you. They'll throw that term around loosely like it's a refinance when really it's not. They close out the old account, they open up a new one, and you have a new term, new interest rate, all that jazz. Now, we're talking about having terms that are not the best and then improving your credit score and then getting another personal loan to pay off that personal loan or getting a credit card with a cash advance to pay off that personal loan if the numbers make sense okay so all these things have to make sense so obviously if you're let's say for example you get a personal loan at 20 percent you then approve improve your credit score a year goes by and now you can get a personal loan for 10 percent you want to take out the new personal loan for 10 percent and pay off the old loan at 20 percent okay why would you want to do that because you have a better interest rate that's going to be a better payment and you're going to pay off the loan uh, a bit faster as well too majority of that would be going to the principal now if you've had a loan for let's say three years and you got six months left 
that would make no sense <laughs> to get a better personal loan. You want to do it um, before you get to 30% of the loan. So anywhere between 100% to 30% left, because the numbers got to make sense. Otherwise, you're just borrowing money at a better rate just to borrow money at a better rate. Okay, It's got to make sense. Like you're paying $600 a month, and then you've been doing this for six months, eight months, uh, 12 months, and then you qualify for a better loan, and then you just use the new loan to pay off the old loan. And that's how you're able to do that. Okay, So those are my suggestions if you're looking to improve your uh, no, I'm not, sorry, not improve your credit score. Uh, but if you're looking to improve your chances of getting approved, uh, you know, for um, a personal loan, if you don't have the best credit. All right. So if you like this video, like it, you want to share it, share it. And as always, be sure to subscribe as we got nothing but great content on the way. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.